What's up, y'all? This is My Wild Season 5, Episode 5, y'all. Now, until the link is available, which it will probably be tomorrow. Anyways, until the link is available, it will say review. Okay, up at the top. Don't get it confused. I ain't trying to confuse y'all. I ain't trying to play y'all. Go ahead, hit your girl up with the like because I am going to hook y'all up with the link. When it is available. Alright, so. First off, 1K subscriber gift giveaway. You must like, share, and subscribe. Alright, so first off is Miss um Karen. Now, Karen is going to dinner with her boo-boo, Storm. Now, she ain't talked to Storm in some weeks, okay? And she want to know if this is going to be the end for them or are they going to continue. So, Storm sits down and he's like, you know what? I just wanted to tell you I was wrong, okay? I should have looked at it from your point of view and I should have apologized for that. And, you know, I'm sorry for it. And I, that would never happen again. I understand. I, and it, it won't happen again. And she was like, you know what? I'm happy right now that he understands and that he gets my point. Okay, but I, I can't just let him in that easily. Then he be thinking he could do it all the time. And she he's like, you know what? I'll never argue with you again. She was like, I don't condone violence. I mean, I don't condone <laughs> violence. I don't condone cheating. Okay? So, I will never know if that was your homeboy's friend or that was for you. But let me find, if I find out something different or another situation like this comes up again, that's it. It's a wrap. That's all it's going to be. He was like, you know what? That's that's fine. It's cool. It won't happen again. Okay, I never argue with you again because I see I'm never gonna be able to win. And she was like, "I know that's right." <laughs> so good thing they get back together. I hope that was just your friends, girl. Anyways, good thing you learned. So next is I'm going off the top of the dome, y'all. They go to um, ugh, they go to visit Natalie. Which is Dreed and Big Ange. Okay, Natalie's trying to show them how. Okay, this is my bedroom. And this is the living room. And Ange is like, I don't, you know, I don't really give a fuck about that right now. I just want to know, is you the rat? So they go and talk. And she's like, look. Dreed is like, when I was in Philly, I met this girl named, you know, I. I met a girl, okay, and she didn't just start talking about you. I bring it up. I said I had a friend named Natalie, whatever. We talk, we hang out. And she said that you was a girlfriend of her friend, an ex-girlfriend of her friend, and that you got mad at him when, after he got out of jail, and you called the P.O. And... You know, that's a fucking rat. I don't deal with rats. So I want to know what's going on. Okay, because I don't deal with rats. Big Ann is like, I don't deal with rats. I had a girlfriend that wore a wire, okay, talking to me. I don't deal with rats either. And now he's like, I want to know. I mean, I'm not Madrid is like, I want to know what's going on, okay, because I will fuck up a rat. And she was like, okay, well, I did call the cops. Our situation, it got really, really bad, okay, and it became physical. So I called the cops like any woman would do to protect myself. And they're like, oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the only excuse, though, that you could have. That better be the only excuse. Okay, yeah, that... That's, that makes good sense. I didn't think of that. Um, all right. <laughs> so they end up, you know, they on Natalie's side. And Natalie's like, you know what? Who is this bitch to go around talking about what I did? Okay, spreading all kind of rumors about me when they don't even know the whole story. 
Okay, he tried to make it look like it was one way when it was another. He was beating her ass, according to Natalie. Okay, but I am going to say Natalie do kind of got Drita and Ange. They definitely in her corner. I will say that. Okay. So, anyways, Karen, you know, ends up inviting Drita and Ange over. Don't even quite remember why. Maybe it's because she got a new house. And, oh, before I go there, Renee, I mean, not Drina Ange, Renee, she ends up going to the doctor, okay, because she's been stressed out. She found out that Junior been snitching again, and now we got something to do with Angie's cousin who could potentially get life in jail. So, Renee goes to the doctor. She's like, look, I'm stressed out. It's been a lot of things going on. I don't want to end up self-medicating myself again. So, I don't want anything to do with any pills. Is there anything I can do that will help me with my stress? And he's like, you know what? We got some nutrients, IV. And we can do it. She's like, okay, I'll do that. I'm like, the fuck? I went, uh, maybe I'm just not into IVs. And I, anyways, I guess this ain't about me. So, she is, got the IV in her. Next thing you know, she gets a text from her friend or AJ's friend. And saying that AJ was in an accident and that he ain't been able to move. And she's like, uh, oh, some. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. My son is in trouble. I ripped this IV out of my arm. Somebody come. I'm like, ooh, don't do that. Don't do. Don't just. Ooh, don't just rip that out your arm like that. You might not even make it there if you do that shit. Anyways, oh, I just gotta think about things. I just. Anyways, she gets there. Okay. And actually, before when they was, the doctors came and they like calm down, calm down. We gotta get this out. You gotta calm down. So she gets there. She's panicking. Where's my son? I want to talk to my son. She's calling AJ. AJ ain't picking up. She gets there. AJ's on a stretcher. I saw him moving, but you know, of course, his legs wasn't. He ended up tearing his what's the Achilles? I don't know the fucking name. I'm sorry, but he ended up tearing something. He got to get surgery for it. So he'll be fine though, but it was a basketball accident. I thought it was another car accident. I was like, why is they letting him drive if he keep getting in all these car accidents? Anyways, but it was just, you know, athletic sport accident. She goes over Karen's house with Ange, and Renee's just telling him, I've been just so stressed. I just can't handle it. I was getting an IV, and I got a call about AJ. And then now he has to get surgery and it's so much going on. Like, it's just everything at once. And I'm just hoping that I don't, basically just saying that she hoping that she doesn't relapse. And she's like, you know, oh, this stuff with these girls. And she's like, don't worry about that girl stuff. Worry about your son, okay? And she was like, you know what? It really hurts me that you keep taking up for her. All right? She... She is doing all kinds of stuff. And Angela's like, you know what? She ends up telling us that, you know, Natalie ended up telling us that she called the police because it was for her safety. He was beating her ass, basically. And she was like, no, and you don't you don't get it, okay? She was sitting there always going back, talking about how I was doing drugs when she was the one partying and doing drugs with me. Okay? And now she wanna put my business all out there. She's going to do you wrong. And just like, she can tell my business. I ain't got nothing to hide. She's like, okay, you did something. Something you did around her is going to come back to bite you. And you just watch and see. And she was like, I did nothing with her. Renee's like, give me the Bible. And she was like, what? You're not, you know. And Ange is tight about Renee questioning her. She already kind of feels some type of way about AJ snitching on her cousin, I'm not AJ Jr., snitching on her cousin, about to make her cousin go to jail for life. And even though 
it's not Renee's fault, okay, that AJ did all that shit. It's really not. So she shouldn't feel no type of way, but I guess we're human. And, you know, we have we make mistakes, okay, we get emotional. So anyways, now Natalie, Miss Natalie is on the point of revenge, she is making calls. Now they got this other chick, Natalie, on here that got all, you know, told all the uh, information to Drita. She's on here, Natalie did that. What is it? Di Donato? Natalie Di Donato, I believe. And Natalie didn't call the other chick, Natalie's boyfriend, to try to, oh, what you doing now? He's like, you know, I'm doing construction. She's like, okay. You know, I, I would really like if you come here to New York and do, like, some spackling for me. And she was like, what? She's trying to suck your dick or something? And he was like, no, I don't know about that. But she was definitely trying to have him clean her pipes. And next thing you know, Natalie starts asking the other Natalie's boyfriend all the info on Natalie. Basically just trying to pick up some dirt on this Natalie um, D chick. All right, I'm like, really, Natalie? Is it that serious? You gotta go look for some dirt on this this girl and and do all that so y'all could just just let it be done, okay? She got misled. Let it be done. What is all this for? Really? Do you really think that's necessary? Anyways, so now you know that. That chick, I believe she a boxer or whatever. She like, look, she gonna get her ass whooped. Then, yeah, now you going, you trying to mess with her man like you ain't got a man? Is you for real? Anyways, so they all end up going to, um, what is it, Drita's big party for her makeup line that she did with in Philly with the Natalie chick. They're talking, and they start talking about Natalie. Okay, the other Natalie chick came up, and they start talking about Natalie that everybody can't stand. And, you know, Renee's like, you know, I'm really sick of y'all taking up for her. Cameron's like, I, I get it. I'm sick of it, too. Okay? And Renee's like, you know what? She went and talked about how I did drugs and all that. Well, bitch, your damn DNA is on a dollar bill. And Ange didn't like that. She was like, why would you say that? Why would you say that? That was like some rat shit. And Renee was like, did you just call me a rat? I'm not a rat. And they get up and they argue. And Ange was like, you're a rat. And your fucking husband's a rat. And she was like, that's my ex-husband. And they're trying to hit each other. And they are so serious right now. I did not like that. I really did not like that. They family, they, you know, they supposedly love each other. They've been friends for 20 some years. I didn't like that at all. So, I don't know. They they try to rip each other apart. Um, Drita and Karen looked like they wasn't, they were struggling trying to hold them back. So, that was it for my wives. I hope they end up apologizing to each other next time. Because that, that shit's fucked up. Okay, and i never seen her like that. She's pissed off. And she's really pissed about her cousin. Because she finds out that her cousin, after the test of um, money that Junior gave, her cousin is going away to jail for 38 years. Which her cousin is already 46. Which he should have known not to be fucking robbing nobody. Okay, they're wrong. You too old for that. It just it just ain't right. Okay, at any age it ain't right. But yeah, she's pissed off about that. So that is really causing a you know some issues between them. So that's it for this episode. Thank y'all for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Jazz Shaman. And one K subscriber gives good way. You must like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, y'all. Peace.